Hey guys, I'm MLF reporter Allie Akers, and this is Inside Access. After qualifying round two of the 2017 Summit Select from Osage Beach, Missouri, many of our fans were quick to get on social media to defend and criticize a situation that happened in period one between Kevin Short and James Watson. Here to discuss that and answer some other questions is competition crew lead Aaron Bashirs. Aaron, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me, Allie. For our fans that might need a refresher about what happened in period one between Kevin Short and James Watson, can you give them a brief detail of what yeah. happened? Did you see the show? I did see it the was, show. It was awesome. I've watched it a couple times. Basically what happened was, you know, and, and again, I'm not opinionated here. I'm, I'm just going to lay it out black and white what happened. James Watson and Kevin Short ended up in the same creek together. Um, they were fishing different sides of the creek to, to begin with, but, but, and it really didn't depict it on the show as, as well as if you're, if you're not really familiar with that creek, but Watson began yelling at, at uh, you know, doing his antics at, uh, at Kevin Short from the get-go, so they were relatively close to begin with. And then what happened, we see in the show Kevin Short kind of idling along um, on the other side to James Watson, and when I recently just talked to Kevin Short about this, he said, you know, it took him about 20 minutes to idle along on the opposite side of James, and he said that he, you know, gave him enough room, didn't want to get too close to mess up anything James was doing, but then he caught that five-pound fish on the other side of James Watson. And I think that's what the issue is with our fans. But why yeah. is this such a big issue? Had he not caught the 5-2, I, I wonder if, if social media would have blown up. I wonder if, you know, there's two camps here. There's the Watson camp and the and the, the fans of Kevin Short. But the, the fact is, is that, you know, MLF is a little different. Um, he didn't break a rule. I mean, first and foremost, there was no rule broken. Well, some of the fans were saying, well, you know, I wouldn't have done that. That was really, I'm not going to use some of the language that's been said, but uh, that was really non-professional of, of, of what Kevin done. But, you know, these guys, they're not, they're, they're not, they're not trying to prove themselves. Uh, you know, they're, they're proven fishermen. They're the best in the world. Okay, so it's not like uh, Kevin was, you know, that Watson totally put him on a pattern. I mean, they were both doing something. Again, they were a little bit area, different areas of the creek, but they were both started fishing square bills, I believe, and then Watson uh, kind of zoned in on, a, on an area of some flooded timber, and he was, uh, you know, pitching to targets. Kevin was also throwing at targets too, but, you know, Kevin initially idled out of, that, out of that area that he was in on the side, and he was, his intent was to go to the very back end of the creek when he passed Watson. And I think our fans have a problem that they were fishing so close, but there's not a rule in the Major League Fishing format that says you have to be a certain, you know, amount of feet away from another angler like there are in some other tournaments. That's correct. There's not, and what a lot of fans, first, what I would like the fans to understand is these rules didn't come from the top. And, and come down to the anglers. These rules come from, from the ground up. I mean, a lot of the rules that are, are from the anglers. They, they have gotten together and um, came up with these rules. So that might have been part of the reason why you didn't see Watson, um, how, he, how he reacted the way that he did. You know, and I've seen, I see both sides of it. I see where some of the fans that live out around Kentucky Lake or lakes like that, they're, they're like, man, we fish side by side all the time. You know, and then other other guys are like, well, you know, he totally encroached on him. There, the only rule that that we have is called the hooking another line rule. It's a two-minute penalty, and if uh, if Kevin Short or if Watson would have hooked one of the other's line, then they would have gotten a penalty. But there was no there was no violations broke. Have we seen similar situations like we saw in period one between those two guys? Have we seen those in our other events? Yeah, we have, and we're going to start seeing it more because again, there's there's the only rule that I know of in the other organizations are a 50 yard rule, it may be a 50 foot rule, but nevertheless it's when the boat is anchored down so your power poles can be anchored and your trolling motor's up. You can't get within 50, I think it's yards of another angler. Um, that's not in Major League Fishing, so these guys are, these pros are, are learning to use these rules to their advantage, kind of like they use score tracker. They use score tracker to their advantage too. So they're, they're starting to adapt and uh, you know, MLF's changing the game, well, the anglers are changing with it. So just so our fans understand that these rules are all formulated and are heavily inputted by our anglers and that no rule was broken in period one with Kevin Short and James Watson. Yeah, the, the anglers have a major input with Major League Fishing on the rules and how they're, they're formatted. And you know, 
typical bass fishing and all these rules where they're looking for a five fish limit, you know, that's gotten stale. And Major League Fishing, again, is changing the game and it's, you know, it, it makes it interesting. It makes it interesting for the fans. It makes it interesting for the, for the viewers, the, the anglers. Uh, how many times have you seen an angler say, man, I've, I've got juices flowing. I hadn't felt like this in years. I mean, at least on every other episode or so, especially the new guys, right? Exactly. Well, thank you for being here and clearing up a few questions that we have about rules. Thank you very much for inviting me. I'd be glad to be here anytime. Guys, for more information about the Major League Fishing rules and format, just go to MajorLeagueFishing.com.